In a previous video, I showed you how to create image galleries in Obsidian using the community plugin Projects. Alas, that plugin is no longer with us, making the latter half of that video obsolete. But don't worry, I've got some good news. The new Core Bases plugin handles image galleries in an almost identical way to the Projects plugin. I'm going to start by creating a template for our visual notes. So I'm going to create a new note. We're going to call this Visual Note. And I'm going to put three dashes to give us some properties. I'm going to give it a type. I'm going to be visual note as the type. And I'm going to add another property, and this is going to be cover. And this is going to be where we put the link to the image that we want to show up in our gallery. I'm also going to put an empty embedded note here so that I can put the same image that I have in my cover inside the body of the note as well. So I'm going to open up a new tab here, and I'm going to open the command palette by hitting command P, control P if you're on Windows, and we're going to find the bases create new base command. This will give us a brand new base that by default shows us all of the notes that are in our vault. I'm going to go up to here where it says table. I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to click on this little arrow next to the table, and I'm going to rename this to gallery, and I'm going to put it as a cards layout, and the image property I'm going to put as cover. I'm going to keep everything else the same for now. I'm going to close that and then go over to filter. And I want to create a filter that will be applied to all the views that are in this database because we only want the notes that are these visual notes. So I'm going to say where type is, and then we're going to say visual note. So that pulls up the template that we created. That's the only note that currently has the type of visual note. I'm going to add another filter. I want it to also be where cover, so and cover, is not empty. So that's going to filter out that visual note template. And it's only going to show us any visual notes that we've created that the cover is actually filled out. So as we see, right now we don't have any. So we're going to create a new visual note here. Let's go ahead and name our base visual notes so we know what this database is. I'm going to hit another new tab. I'm going to create a new note and I'm going to type out don't think outside the box until you've used what's inside it. This will title will make sense in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and oh, I need to actually add my visual note template to my templates directory. So I'm going to do that real fast. I'm going to right click on the note, say move file to and then put this inside of templates. So now when I go over here and I hit my shortcut for adding a template, my visual note template shows up and I need to put in a link to this visual note that I have. There it is. So now that is in the cover and then I'm going to put it here as well. As you can see it's this note that I created a while back. It talks about how we shouldn't think outside the box until we've used what's inside it. Enter after that. Okay so now going back over to our visual notes database we now see that that note is showing up here in our gallery. Let's create another one real fast. Create a new note and we're going to do dual Coding theory at our visual note template, dual coding theory.jpg. And then I'm going to put that in here as well so you can see what it looks like. This was a, another note that I took at one point talking about the theory that our brains work with both words and images. And by using both of those in your notes, words and visuals, you actually retain more information. Going back to our visual notes database, we now have that in there as well. So let's go over here and we're going to edit this or configure this view. I want the image to contain. When it was cover, it was zoomed in. We couldn't see the entire image. Now we can see the whole image. And we can go in here and configure this. We can change how tall these are. That works for these two notes, but there may be others that are taller than they are wider. So that aspect ratio may not work. So as we add more and more of these notes, this gallery will continue to grow. Now, what's kind of cool about bases is that based on the filters, if you create a new note by hitting this plus new up here, 
it will take on whatever the filters are. So for instance, we have where type is visual note and cover is not empty. When I create a new note from this new note button, it puts in those properties for us. This is not using that template that we set up. As you can see, it doesn't have that empty embedded note here. It also gives us this warning that this note is gonna be filtered out because it doesn't match the criteria. The cover is empty. So I'm gonna add in a note that I actually grabbed from another productivity app from Ample Note. This is Ample Note Idea Funnel. And I'm going to put in Ample Note Idea Execution Funnel. So I can add new notes directly from this base just by hitting this new button. That's pretty nice. This one also <laughs> is a landscape view. I'm pretty sure I've got some notes that are portrait view. Let me find one. I'll hit new and I know of one. We've got productivity components. You can see how if I were to shrink this aspect ratio down, it's going to reduce the gray boxes at the tops of these, but it's going to shrink this one down tiny. We're going to just keep the aspect ratio at one. But if you had all of your images the same aspect ratio, you could adjust it here. So we can create different views in bases. So we can go up here and I can add a new view and I'm going to say hand drawn and I'm going to use a cards layout. The cover is going to be the image property. Then I'm going to go over to filter and I want this view to have different filters than other views really quickly we need to go out to these and we're going to need to add a new property and we're going to say hand drawn we're going to make this a checkbox we're going to check that okay so i've added hand drawn to all of these i am also going to add it here and we're going to have it not be checked all right so now that we have that property in here we can go back to our filters and i can say where hand drawn is and then we're going to say checked that now filters this down to just the ones that are hand drawn i'm going to rename this gallery to all visual notes because this is the one that shows us everything and then i'm going to add a new view and this is going to be something like digital and we're going to make this a cards and we want the cover once again to be the property. We're going to go to filter, say this view where hand drawn is, and then we're going to say unchecked. And now that gives us just this ample note idea funnel. So now we have these different views. I can see all my visual notes. I can see my hand drawn notes and I can see the ones that were created digitally, not hand drawn. Let me know if you give this a try. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you're interested in learning more about the Basis plugin, check out the video on your screen next.